front where it says aims real big. Hello everyone from Columbia, South Carolina. You know, for an abandoned video, this one's a little different. It's not every day you get to check out an abandoned caboose. Or should I say, cockaboose. Sure, this looks like your everyday plain Jane caboose. And it was in a previous life for the Illinois Central Railroad. That was until 1990, when a man by the name of Ed Robinson bought 22 of these for USC. USC is the college, which you see the stadium right back here, where the Gamecocks play. Hence the nickname Cockaboose. But you're probably wondering, what does it have to do with the stadium, the school, and football? Well, fun fact about this. Though this one is abandoned, there are a bunch more of them right down by the stadium. And I mean, keep in mind, we're right here on the track, so these tracks are the place you're going to find them through there all the way down on the other side of the stadium there these were made for tailgating see columbia businessman ed robinson saw a vision for this not just for gamecocks football at usc but for tailgating where he fixed these all up and put decks on them so you could tailgate for football games out here and if you go over by the stadium you'll actually see a whole bunch of them all in a row over there. And as a matter of fact, last night when I drove through there, people were tailgating on them. Even though there's no football because it's June, they were people drinking up there and just having a nice Friday evening. So anyway, what are we waiting for? Let's check this one out and see how it looks. Now, I couldn't tell you why they abandoned this one, but here it sits, getting overtaken by Mother Nature. Whereas the ones that are still active are in excellent shape. And I'll drive over there after we finish checking this out, and I'll show you one of them, from the roadway anyway, and show you how nice they are. paints peeling off you can see the state outline of South Carolina there in the middle a little light see the electrical outlet that's where the deck would have been the party up there and you could do that inside and I would imagine like any other caboose that this would get extremely hot during the summer months so I imagine over at the stadium the ones that they still use they have put AC or climate control in them and fancied them all up. This is locked too, which is fascinating since it is abandoned. Now you can clearly see someone took the coupler and the knuckle off. The wheels are slowly sinking into the ground. Being an out-of-towner, there's no telling for me how long this has been sitting here, but clearly it's been so long as you can see mother nature and the trees growing all the way around it and they used a railroad tie and various pieces of wood to hold this thing up and support it and the platform that was put onto the end of it for tailgating now it looks like that door is open so maybe just maybe we'll be able to see inside now here we are we had to climb up here because the steps are gone we had to climb up here, put a little bit of effort into it. That's seized up. And we can absolutely go inside of this. Taking a look in here, this doesn't look like your typical caboose like you would see on the Pennsylvania Railroad where you'd have sleeping uh, sections. You'd have a little kitchen in here, a little bathroom. In here, it looks like a little bar. You have your bar here places to stand around, electrical outlets, I'm sure for lights and bar signs, a modernized ceiling with lights. It's actually quite a shame that this has been neglected and had this happen to it. And you can see where the vents were put in the floor for the uh, climate control. With the door open, let's go inside and check it out real quick. Yep, here's your little sink. 
little window. That's definitely not original. I wouldn't imagine any of these windows are original. But I could be wrong. If I can find a picture of these in Illinois Central paint, you will have already have seen that by now. I love the uh, house light switches. And here is your bathroom. Look at that wallpaper in there. The toilet's seen better days, so we're just going to go ahead and shut that. Sign of the times, too. And you can see people still come in here and party. It's all the trash in here. Valet parking straight ahead. Cobblestone Park, a gin club community. I was going to say, wouldn't it be hilarious if the lights turned on? Obviously not the case. Especially with a beehive over here in the corner. Now that isn't active. Water damage is getting to this place. To think at one point in time, this was used for the actual railroad. Crew members would sleep in here, they'd cook in here. This would be their home away from home when working on the railroad. And in a future life, it would be a tailgate zone for college kids to laugh, hang out, have a couple of drinks before, during, and probably after a football game at USC. Obviously, people still tailgate in here. Not just humans, but the plants. Wildlife grows through the floor as the HVAC system is gone, and vines can just grow right through the vents. Watch out for that first step, it's a doozy. Now I can say, even though it's only 10 in the morning, though the temperature outside is in the mid 80s already, and it's quite humid. It's actually not terrible in here. I know on the old Pennsylvania Railroad cabooses, when you go inside of them in the summertime, it's like a sauna. And while it's warm in here, it's not too bad. You do have the vents in the floors that are wide open. That door, which was missing a window. And I'm surprised none of the other windows are broken in here, honestly. A couple of panes are broken, but with them being double pane, they're still technically intact. Now, sure, if you're the empty box of Krispy Kreme chocolate donuts or the lid from the Briars ice cream, I think they would disagree as they would have melted by now. The frosting and icing on the donuts and the ice cream would be more like milk. But for a hot summer day, especially after the heat that we've had here, it's not terrible in here. Check back in a few hours, and I'm sure it'll be horrible. But for now, it's okay. They partied so much, they even had Christmas lights on here. Now, as we take a look over here, on the wooded side, you'll find one of the old staircases for this caboose. The old trucks that say Southern on them. Cables, and there's a staircase there to get up to the upper deck, completely covered in trees. And as you can see, this side of the caboose isn't looking nearly as good as the other side is. Not that that side's looking any better. This side still has the sign on it though. back outside you wouldn't even know this had a staircase with the amount of trees that have grown up around it
Maybe perhaps they abandoned this one because it's one of the furthest ones I've seen away from the stadium. Whereas many of the others are literally on the stadium property. Well, anyway, what are we waiting for? Let's go over there and check one of them out. Now, they are fenced off on stadium property, so we're not going to be able to get up close and personal with them. However, from the street, you still get a pretty great view of it. So, let me take you over there and show you. Well, here I am at williams Bryce Stadium, where you'll actually see the majority of these cabooses. Cockabooses, I'm sorry. They're all on a line here, all the way to the other side of the stadium. But that's not all. We have more. And more. And we're going to go and check those ones out to the best of our ability. So anyway, let's take a walk here. Like I said, they're fenced off, so we can't get up close and personal with them. But we can walk through this parking lot a little bit and check them out. I'm pretty close up, I'd say. Now this is what they look like in great condition. Obviously they have a little canopy they can build up there to keep you in the shade. That's number 22. They're all numbered here too. Looks like we can get up close to those ones there. Now, I'm not going to climb aboard them, but we can at least get up close and check them out. Look at the row of cabooses all the way down here. That's the sign that was missing on the abandoned one. Pretty cool to see them all in a row like this. And the other ones are painted black. You'll see those too in just a moment. But this is to give you an idea of what they look like. There's even a grill up there. As you can see, they still left the original steps up for nostalgia, but they welded a deck here to make it easier to walk across them all. Then they have a ladder, which isn't in use anymore, but the staircase along the side to get up on top. Now, I don't know that I would be allowed to go up there and peek inside. I'm sure it would be okay, but I don't even know if I'm supposed to be here. Nobody said anything. Nobody has stopped me, but I don't want to overstay my welcome. But these were cool to look at, and I'm glad I was able to show you these. And if you want to see them up close and personal, guess you have to tailgate for a USC game. Here are the other cockabooses. This is number one right here. All in that beautiful red paint. The cockabooses weren't only purchased from Illinois Central. There were there were cars and cabooses purchased from CSX as well. And we're about to check out those cars right over here. Now these ones are guarded by bushes so you can't see them as well as you could the cabooses. But the old rail cars that they've also turned into tailgating areas. 
They have a few of them here. Some that aren't even painted red. You have to walk a little bit through the parking lot here. But that's okay. I need the exercise anyway. The eating is good down here. So I have to walk off the calories I take in. There's some of the old ones here. Doesn't look like these are used anymore. No, I don't think so. They look to be in pretty bad shape. Railroading is a very busy industry in Columbia. We're not far from Norfolk Southern's Andrews Yard. CSX has a yard, and it's 24-7 here. There's not too many streets in town where you can go where you won't go over a railroad crossing. They're everywhere the closer you get to downtown, but especially around the college here. Here is the other sea of cockabooses. Now this is the closest we can get because these are all fenced off. But here is the sea of cockabooses. Tailgate headquarters. All right, everyone. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I know it was a little bit of a different video, but it was the best of both worlds because I like railroading, I like rail fanning, and I like abandoned things. So to put them two together was pretty unique. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did enjoy the video, consider giving the video a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, why don't you come on over and subscribe to the channel for more content and hang out. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care and stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.